Hello. Let's see how to use custom objects in the ProRealTime platform. The platform includes many predefined objects, such as the ones you see here. But say I want to create my own support and resistance lines with custom colors and width. Let's see how to do this. Let's first draw a resistance line, then change its configuration by opening the settings window. Then I'm going to create a minor resistance, so I'm going to set a lower thickness and a dotted style. I can even change the color here. Next, click on the plus to create a new configuration. We can call this minor res. I check this box to make my new configuration appear in the objects toolbar and click add. I can then use the new tool to draw a minor resistance on any chart. Now let's create an additional template for major resistances. This one will be wider, with a darker color, and use a full line style. I now also have a major resistance tool here that I can draw on any chart. You can change the order of the objects in the toolbar by dragging and dropping them with your mouse. For example, I can put all my resistance lines at the top to find them easily. I can even create keyboard shortcuts to use these objects even faster. To do this, go to Settings, Shortcuts, Objects. As you can see, we can set shortcuts both for predefined and custom objects. I can define the minor resistance as the 7 key, the default resistance as the 8 key, and the major resistance as the 9 key. Now I can use the 9 key to draw a major resistance directly. Another handy tool is the color palette, which allows you to quickly change the color of your objects. To add it to your chart, go to the Objects menu and select it. From the color palette, I can choose green to draw a support. Then, by pressing 9, my thick line will be green thanks to the color palette. I can then switch to red and press 9 again to draw a thick red line for my resistance. The color palette applies to all single color objects that you draw. For example, I can draw a red square. You can easily add or remove more objects on your toolbar by right clicking on the toolbar and choosing configure. From the different tabs, you can check the boxes to add or remove tools and also change their order in the preview. To learn more, check out the other videos on our website. See you soon on ProRealTime.